guys would have had this assignment half an hour ago. So <laughs> I get a little scatterbrained, but that's all right, all right. So I usually like to write, I like to write things nice and precise, but today's been scatterbrained. But I met George in 1990. This is going to be mostly my work, the numbers of George, is what else can I tell you? But I met him in 1990 uh, at, at, at a church event called the Curcio. And we took uh, buses to this strange church we'd never been to in Palm Beach. And we had a weekend with, in a, we were living in a church, uh, sleeping in, in the uh, Sunday school rooms on cots. And it was uh, adventurous. And George, I'd never known him before, but there was this man with red hair, and red beard, and red mustache. And he, he was quite uh, intriguing, I'll say. Intriguing. I was really fascinated by him. And uh, during the weekend, he showed a lot of bravery. He even, he used to be ex army, I guess, so he didn't mind taking a shower outside in the dude with the hose. But I, I didn't know him here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was brave and brave. Uh, and he, he was at the table with uh, the future uh, supplicant bishop, John Seth, who was at his table. And they were, they were all learning to be better leaders uh, in the Christian world. And uh, I think it, it certainly, that weekend did something to George. It really, it really brought out the depth of the emotion and, and musical, spiritual energy, you know, crazy. It, it, we're supposed to, after you make it for a weekend, you're supposed to meet regularly with a few other uh, people that attended the weekend so that you can have um, a, a accountability. You know, you kind of keep check, checking each other, make sure you're doing your prayers, make sure you're doing outreach and make sure that you're, you're loving God. And we were, we took a, a year to do it. They kept saying, you know, you should get in the group, you should get in Finally, the two of us were pushed into it and said, okay, let's start a group. And, and not too long after, George, over there, George, big George, uh, <laughs> Frost joined us in that group, which led eventually to uh, my grandchildren, but that's another story. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, anyway, thank you. <laughs> thought that, that Ian's uh, the son of George Frost in my name we were George Little. We were George and George and Steve and Steve because Steve Adams was in the group too. Steve Adams, we celebrated just a couple of years ago, was it? Um, Steve Adams was in a group. So George and George, Steve and Steve, or like, like I used to say, <laughs> Anyway, but George, George Little and I, we both loved our music and when we started bringing our Musical instruments to all the Curcio events, and uh, I would bring my six-string guitar, that same exact guitar I have today, my rainbow colored one, uh, rainbow string. Right? And he would bring his bass, his upright bass, and he'd take it everywhere. Oh my gosh, and I barely took that in the car, it was huge. What do you think when my grandson now plays one of those strings? That's, I wonder how that happened. But anyway, uh, we played together for many years, 1990 through until maybe about 50. Years ago, or something started. You know, I started falling away from Christie because I was doing other things, and then moved. But uh, we played together, um, and we lived close together, George and I. So we would go to team meetings together. We go to Miami. We go to Palm Beach. You know, we go all over the place. Um, he would drive. He'd drive fast. He'd change the lanes. I say, George, George, I can't look. <laughs>
but but uh, but George, you know, we did we were buddies together. It was great, you know. And then we also later on we also did a prison ministry together. You know that was really uh, challenging. Um, we have another friend, Mike Pirro, who was a member of our group later, one of our group, and Mike Pirro was into the prison ministry. He, he brought us in with him, and that was a whole other experience. But George would bring his big face and go into this room and you get searched. He had to go through all into this closing door, close this side and open it on this side, and go through and close that side, and you go through all the way to the prison and and you hang out with the, the inmates and we had a weekend. Where we hung out with inmates and we sat at tables with them and we, uh, we, we shared our lives with them and shared our, our mission with them. And uh, it was really powerful. And, uh, it, but it, was, it got increasingly stressful for me. And by the third time, our identity was stolen by prison workers who, who oh. had our ID cards and all that stuff. They started buying TVs and computers. And George and I, you know. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 